G'day and welcome to Cloud Cartographer. One of the things I've been really excited about for the last few months or maybe the last year is TensorFlow. And really what I see a great opportunity in is using Kubernetes to deliver TensorFlow workloads. So I've been playing around a lot with running TensorFlow on Kubernetes. Um, and one of the things I wanted to do was actually make that more accessible. Uh, because if you go and take a look at the, uh, the documentation, there's quite a little bit of heavy lifting that you need to do to actually get to a point where you can run and, and really see the value prop of something like TensorFlow. So what I wanted to quickly demo, um, and for those of you who aren't familiar with TensorFlow, um, it's an open source software library for machine learning um, that was released by Google about a year ago. I think it's the second most active project on GitHub um, currently. And what I'm going to demo today is actually serving um, the inception model. And what the inception model does, um, image recognition. So you can pass it uh, an image and get back some matches as to what that image may be. So um, as I said, I kind of wanted to lower the bar to get people to see what TensorFlow could do. And I've wrapped it up in a Helm chart to make it fairly easy to um, play with. Uh, so I'll link that in the description, but here's, here's a quick demo. So I'll do a Helm status and I've created a namespace and a release called uh, TF for TensorFlow. And there's, it's simple, there's a, a service and a deployment here. And really all I'm gonna do here, if you read the notes, is I'm gonna export the external uh, load balancer host name here. Um, I'm, I'm running this particular demo on AWS. You may get an IP address back as well. And all I'm gonna do here is, is given that um, the prerequisites to running and actually querying this inception model are in the source code, I've just compiled a, a very lightweight inception container which can serve as the client. So with this command here, what I'm doing is I'm going to mount in downloads, my downloads folder on my Mac into uh, slash downloads. And I've just thrown some images in there so um, to, to play around with. Um, I'm going to actually run the Inception client, hit the server, which is uh, hosted on that service, and pass in an image, in this case, of a dog. Um, so here I go. I'm going to query uh, TensorFlow running on Kubernetes, um, and I'm passing it that dog.jpg. So here we have the results. Um, and you basically have um, some matches in size. So golden retriever, cocker spaniel, uh, clumber spaniel, tennis ball, Labrador retriever. Um, if I was to actually go and, and just quickly open downloads uh, do images dog, you could see that, you know, that is a fairly accurate representation. So again, what I wanted to do was create a really lightweight way for people to start playing with TensorFlow. I really see a lot of value in it. And I'd love to see people starting to solve proactively problems like operations um, and all kinds of things. So um, I think uh, commoditizing the availability of TensorFlow on something like Kubernetes, making it easy to serve models, uh, will only help with adoption. So have a play around. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, but thanks for joining. Cheers.